Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Today, we're gonna to be continuing our exploration of the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. I'm very excited for this video because where I'm gonna be going over my top five favorite interesting, I guess you could say Easter eggs, or interesting things in the world of Azeroth. Um, and today's adventure actually starts in the Deep Run Trail down here below, uh, or I should say between Stormwind and Ironforge. And one of the reasons I wanted to come down here and start first was because this is one of my favorite areas in the game. I, I believe this area is super underrated. You know, it's just really cool to sit here and see the water and see everything in here. And one of the cool things you'll notice when you first come down here in the tram is this is actually right in the middle in the center of the tram. So when you're taking the tram from Stormwind to Ironforge, you'll pass by this body of water. But sometimes a lot of people don't notice that there's actually a lot of things to be seen here in the water. Now the first thing we can see is uh, Nessie. Nessie is a Loch Ness monster, as I would say. <laughs> now there's actually an official name for the beast or whatever it is, but uh, Nessie is a boss actually swimming in the water. You can't actually get to Nessie. Well, that's not true. There was a glitch back in the day where you could get to Nessie and you could see her up close or him. I don't know if it's a dude, a woman. Uh, but yeah, you could see Nessie up close in the water and there was a glitch where you'd get up in one of the pipes here on the side and then you'd make yourself large and then you could clip out of bounds and swim. Now I have tried to do that multiple times on my demon hunter. I cannot get it to work. So if anybody knows a way to actually get in here in the water, I would love to know because I would love to explore more. Now Nessie does disappear and appears on each side of the tram. So you'll see Nessie swimming over here and then you see Nessie jumped over that way. So that's one of my cool favorite things to see Nessie. Now, I believe this zone doesn't even exist. Like this is just, the Deep Run Tram is its own part of the map. Like you can't actually get here by swimming. So if you try to swim here or you try to get here, it, you can't. I mean, it, I, unless there's another way I don't know about, but uh, yeah, so that's really cool. I like seeing Nessie. Another thing here is actually in the water, there's usually a treasure chest and you can see it right here, swimming around. And what's funny is you can actually open this chest, but since there's no way to actually get to it, it's impossible. But you can see kind of a little angle right here. But what's kind of funny is you move your mouse cursor over it and you can actually open it. But I've, I've always been curious to see what's actually in the chest. And uh, I guess we'll never know. I guess there remains a mystery today. But there you go, look at Nessie uh, actually appeared over here. Another cool thing is you can actually see this um, Naga Siren swimming around randomly in the water. So just hanging out, been hanging out here since the beginning. Uh, just been here for years, just chilling in the water, chilling out, swimming with the fishes, swimming with the guarding the treasure chest. So obviously we'll never be able to see, but it's really cool to see the Naga the treasure chest and Nessie. Now, if we make our way this way, you can see a little bit more of the shipped the ship right in the middle that has um, broken down. It is broken and won't be moving. So, And then you can kind of see this clan that's been opening. Oh, and actually in the back here, there is a shark, um, a basking shark or baking shark or whatever you want to call it. I can't read it properly. I can't see from here. There it is, the basking shark uh, that's swimming around in the back behind Nessie. So that's really cool too. So there's some really cool things. There's not too much on the other side. Um, I don't know if it's a mirrored version of this. I don't think it is because this looks different than that. So I think there are other stuff on the other side, but not too much. And I like this side better because you can see a lot more. So yeah, so that's the first place. If you've never been down here, I definitely recommend to go explore it. It's a really cool atmosphere. It's just quiet, it's chill. You can turn on some music and just sit here and look at the glass and just study or whatever you want to do. But yeah, it's really cool to take a look at. So, so that is the first uh, number five on our list for Easter eggs and interesting things in the world of Azeroth. Continue with the number four on our list of interesting things to see in the world of Azeroth and World of Warcraft. This is one of my favorite Easter eggs in the game. And if you remember growing up as a kid, you probably watched Disney movies as I did. And one of the Disney movies was Bambi. Now, one of the cool things you can see out here is if you 
hover your mouse over this. This is the mother of Bambina and the Bam Bambina. And then you have Flora and then Thutter. And these all represent the characters in the movie, Disney movie, Bambi. Uh, now this is really cool. You can come see them out here. Now where we're actually at is the Westfall Bridge and uh, Brigade Encampment out in the Grizzly Hills, out in Northern. So you can come see this for yourself. It's really cool to see the details of this. And just like in the movie, every once in a while, a hunter will spawn over here and actually shoot Bambina's mother, just like in the movie. And Bambina will get enraged and attack and kill the hunter. So I'll actually play a clip of that. But this is one of my favorite Easter eggs. I hope you can come out and see this. It's really cool if you've never noticed this before. It's an older Easter egg that's been in the game for a long time. But it's just cool to be reminded of that uh, Blizzard puts in special things like this in the game. That I don't know, it's just fun to see how much effort they put in with Easter eggs and cool things that they hide in the game. So that is number four. All right, we are officially at number three. Now, one of my favorite other Easter eggs or things in the game is you can find a sleeping dragon that has been in the game since World of Warcraft Vanilla or Vanilla World of Warcraft or Classic WoW. And this island off the southwest coast of Kalimdor, all the way at the bottom by the AQ and Oldham off the coast near Silithus, uh, there was a a village called Ocean Main Village. And it, it used to be a small coastal tarn settlement, uh, which was actually removed back in Classic when uh, when uh, Deathwing came in Cataclysm. But just a little bit of history. It was inhabited by the Ocean Main, but they left long ago. After the Fourth War, Rexar and Zekon pass by the village and enter Andreas Tross Lair. I hope I'm saying that right. And the Machnothal asked the dragon why he stayed in the village. So that's the dragon on the screen. Andre responded that he couldn't return to his flight until his old ocean main friend returned from his hut, even though it was clear that the Tarn Brave wouldn't return. Zekon promised Andre to visit him soon. Now this is actually off the WoW media, so just quoting from there. But this is just a really cool uh, place to come visit. If you don't know where it's at, I'll show you here on the map. It's all the way down here at the bottom of Kalimdor, right under the a AQ, the Fallen Kingdom, and uh, right next to Oldham. So if you've never been down here, come check it out. It's a really cool little cave. Uh, it has the dragon sleeping, but that's really about it. There's nothing much more to see here, but people have been speculating for years why this dragon was left here, and it's because of the village. He's waiting for his buddy to return, and sadly, the Tarn buddy will never return. So that is uh, number three on our list. Okay. Leads us to the hills, Brad, foothills. And one of my my second favorite Easter egg in the game is here at I forgot what the farm's called. Uh, what's it called here? GTL, friend. Gambling, tinkering. I don't remember. I'm trying to remember what the farm is called. Uh, it's the Hillsborough Foothills, but it's the Brazy Farmstead. That's what it was. All right, I'm going crazy. <laughs> Anyways. My favorite Easter egg in the game belongs to the Brazy Farmstead, and here you can actually play a WoW version of Plant vs. Zombies, the popular mobile game and PC game. I loved Plants vs. Zombies growing up, and if you talk to Brazy the Botanist right here, he'll give you a quest that reads, Tending the Garden. Even though we beat Warden Stillwater, his zombies still roam the countryside. Look there, another wave is approaching. Help me fight him off, old buddy. Let's go. Survive two massive waves of zombies. And in this, you actually play a Plant for Zombies mini game. So here you collect the sun. You build up enough sun. You can plant a mush or a sunflower mushroom. Oh, crazy. And the sunflower will actually help you generate sun. 
So as you don't know, if you've never played Plants for Zombies, what happens is you collect the sun that falls from the sky. You collect enough sun and it allows you to build one of your plants. And what's going to happen is zombies are going to be coming. Or should be coming. And that's what the zombies look like. So it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, and it's very, very similar to what you actually play in the uh, Plants vs. Zombies game. Now we're actually going to play another Sunflower. And we're going to keep going here. So what we'll do is we'll just do the first wave. And we're gonna keep collecting these pea shooters in the, the sun. And they actually get harder. <laughs> We have finally arrived to our my favorite number one Easter egg in World of Warcraft, which is simple, but it's fun. I'm glad they put a nod to this. Now, if you come down here on the Dragon Isles into the Zeralek Cavern in the city of Loam, you can actually find a particular snail that looks very familiar to the snail that we all love and grew up with. If you find the Vandula Stable Master, right next to him is a pet, and his name is Gary. Now, you may be thinking, that sounds familiar. And this is an obvious reference to Gary the Snail from SpongeBob SquarePants. Well, there you have it, everybody. Um, that is my top five favorite Easter eggs in World of Warcraft. I would love to hear your guys' favorite Easter eggs. Maybe you had the same share as mine. But uh, please let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I will, as always, I will catch you on the next one. Take care.